Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel for another little radio video. Tonight's video is going to be a how-to video on SDR console version 3.1 and what I'm going to show you how to do tonight is how I add names of stations to my waterfall display and a little bit about memories too. So um, I had a couple of questions. Wanted was wanting to know how do I put those names on there and what do you have to do and is it hard? No, it's not hard. It's very very simple. So we'll go through it real fast here and I'll show you. So let's launch SDR console. You can see SDR console version 3.1. Now I've got it down here in 18 megahertz. There's nothing here right now and that's just so we won't get distracted by things going on on the screen so we're going to pretend that there's a station broadcasting here let's just pretend and you want to add a name to it and, and the names that what people were asking me about was these right here how do I get these so I, this is what we're going to do so first of all up here in your uh, ribbon bar click view you want to make sure markers right here is turned on. If it's not turned on, you won't see anything. So to turn it on, make sure that is an orange color. So now it's turned on. So there's a station here and we want to name it. So view again, markers, this little arrow on the bottom. Click that, add current. And you can see right here, the frequency is being displayed and we want to name it. Let's name it uh, a radio station. Okay we got that. Now click OK and you can see right there it says a radio station. Let me get this tuning bar off. And just as simple as that. Now let's say you want the station changes when the schedules change and it's no longer there and you want to take it off select markers configuration go down the list to find what you typed right here 1805 a radio station select delete it disappears and when you select close which it's gone now you can also on your markers I I'm not going to do it, but uh, let's see, Radio France, down here, let's go, you can um, select it, let's just uh, select this, now you can do appearance, you can change uh, the color of the font, you can change the size of the font, make it bigger, you know, make it a little smaller, you can make it thin you can make it normal click OK and it will save it and that's how you, that's how you do that and that, that's very very simple just get the station where that you want view little marker add current type the name click OK and there it is now in memories let's say you wanted to add this station to a memory click memories and I've got memories added here you'll see these little looks like floppy disks on a computer just click on the symbol and it will add it there it won't it won't um, put the name but it will add the frequency and this little bitty symbol in front of it which tells you it's a memory but let's say you want to edit that so you go to memories and the station you just saved, there's a little arrow right here. Click that, and you click Edit. Now here you can you can uh, change the title of it. Radio station. And the frequency is there. It's on the AM mode, and whatever filter you've got selected, and you click Save, and it will change it. And it, but it's also in your your memories and you can see the name is changed also so here again time comes schedules change the station doesn't broadcast there anymore 
you don't need it on there. So go to Memories tab where it says you just put that radio station, the little arrow, clear. Click clear and it's gone. Just that simple. And that's all you have to do to add names and um, edit the names and work on your memories and customize your memories. That's all you have to do. So go down to 49 meters and see. And that's all you have to do. You just uh, you can and you can add these as much as you like and one take them away and change them around. But it's very very simple. And that's all you have to do. I uh, I hope that helped and uh, good listening everyone and I will see you on the next one. Take care, everybody.